Hi there, Release Fighter here. So, when you get a little bit further into Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor's expansion pass, you'll get a big decision, and the decision is whether or not to go for the Tower of Waters or the Tower of Darkness. So I'm going to talk you through some of the things that you might not know about in terms of which one to choose to give you a good idea of which one that you want to go for. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below. But essentially, the two different towers, whichever one you choose, will define which type of Urshifu Kubfu will evolve into. So you can see on the screen there's two Gigantamax forms. One is a water type Pokemon and one is a dark type Pokemon. So obviously if you go for the Tower of Waters then you get the Water type Pokemon, if you go for the Tower of Darkness then you get a Dark Pokemon, but you also get a different style. So the Tower of Waters will give you a Rapid Strike style where you hit multiple times and the Tower of Darkness will give you a Single Strike style which means you'll hit once but it'll be super powerful. So to give you a bit more context, here are the details on the Pokemon website, the G-Max moves, G-Max One Blow and G-Max Rapid Flow. So dark type attacks used by single strike style Gigantamax Urshifu will change to G-Max One Blow and water type attacks used by rapid style Gigantamax Urshifu will change to G-Max Rapid Flow. And both of them can deal damage even if a target defends itself by using moves like Max Guard or Protect, which is pretty cool. So you can see here that single strike style Urshifu's signature move is a wicked blow. Urshifu that has followed the path of darkness can unleash this single severe blow. And this move always results in a critical hit, allowing Urshifu to attack while ignoring the target stat changes. And then rapid strike style Urshifu's signature move, so the one that goes through the Tower of Waters, is Surging Strike. And this unleashes a three hit combo, which again results in a critical hit no matter what. So that's the general gist of the differences, but my personal take is I preferred to go with the Tower of Darkness just because I don't have too many dark type powerful Pokemon, so I thought it was a good one to go for. And I also thought it was just a slightly cooler looking legendary Pokemon. So that's the choice that I made. However, I will say that a water type Pokemon probably has more general functionality in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield with the different types that you'll face. So you might want to go down that route, but that is a brief rundown of Tower of Waters or Tower of Darkness here on the Isle of Armor in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. As ever, it's always massively appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide for Pokemon Sword and Shield Isle of Armor with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments and I'll catch you next time.